Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. Hello everybody and welcome to the Math FSA Boot Camp for 5th grade. And you might be thinking, but Miss McCarthy, what worksheet are you talking about? Somewhere around there should be a link below for you to click which will take you to the worksheet for this video and all the videos that I upload for the 5th grade Math FSA Boot Camp series. So at this time, go ahead and pause your video, throw down your best, and then come on back and see me when you're ready to check your work. Well, hello everybody, welcome back to number one. So here we have a problem that says, select all the expressions that show another way to write this number right here. Well, before we even get to this problem, let's identify the question type. So I see select all, I see some answer choices here. So what kind of question type is this? Yeah, it's a multi-select. So let's write that in there if you did not already. Now let's read the question. So it says, select all the expressions that show another way to write. And this number is 14. The decimal says, and, and this would be 22 thousandths because the zero is in the tenths place. The two is in the hundredths place. And then the following two is in the thousandths place. Place. If you know that you need help with reading numbers with decimals, make sure you stay tuned for the McCarthy Math 155 episodes that will help you master this skill. We need to select all the expressions. Ooh, I forgot to write that. Expressions mean that there is no equal sign. Sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to go through this problem as if you already have the skills that you need to be successful with this problem. However, if I go through this and you're like, huh? I want you to stay tuned to the end of the video where I point the way to more episodes that will help you with these skills here, okay? Where I really slow down and teach it to you, not just teaching you the test prep for it. All right, select all, I forgot to write up here, also means we're going to try all. We're going to work through all of them. So for choice A, we have one times 10. That means that there should be a digit one in the tens place. Is there a digit one in the tens place? Yes, yes there is. I'm gonna put a little check there. Plus, a four times one means a four in the ones place. Yes, check that. Plus two times one tenth means that we have the digit two in the tenths place. Well, here we have the digit two, but that is in the hundredths place. So we can go ahead and circle that right there and that's what makes it wrong. This one also makes it wrong right here too because two in the hundredths place, there is a two in the hundredths place, but we needed one in the thousandths place. Make sure you put it over here because we do not want the computer that scans your test to think that you meant to put it right there. 
Make sure when you eliminate, it goes over here. All right, next it says one times 10. There's a one in the tenths place. Just like the last one, there is a four in the ones place. Two times one hundredth means two in the hundredths place. Yes, check to that. Two times one thousandths means that there is a two in the thousandths place. That is true. So let's go ahead and mark B, but we are not done. We still need to go through the rest. Choice, Choice C, C says, says 14, 14 and, and 22. 22. 14, 14 and, and 2022, 20, but what are they, what are they forgetting? forgetting? Right, they're, right, forgetting, they're forgetting something. something. They're forgetting, they're forgetting thousands. thousands. No, no, that is not, that is not Make sure Make when you, when have, you words have words that you, that you really, really, really carefully. carefully. Choice D, 14 and 22 thousandths. That's what we're looking for there. Let's mark that one. Because we too have 14 and 22 thousandths. Choice E says 10. Well, the one has a value of 10. That's right. Four. The four in the ones place has a value of four. That's correct. We'll give a check to that. We've got two hundredths. That's correct. And two thousandths. If we added all those up, we would definitely get that same number. So choice E is correct. Mark that one. F says 10. Yes, we just did that up here. Plus four. Yes. Plus two tenths. It should be two hundredths. So that is wrong. All right, so your answers for number one should have been B, D, and E. Go ahead and make any corrections to your paper that you need to make and then join me for number two. Number two. Looking at a scan right here. And this is called an editing task question. We're going to read some statements and edit in our correct answers. Let's read it. Demi wrote two numbers on her whiteboard as shown below. So there are two numbers right here. Let's read these two numbers. Read them with me. We have six and 388 thousandths. Very good. And then we have six and 338 thousandths. Complete the statements below about the two numbers. Fill in the bubble before the choice that is correct. So I'm seeing right here, it says six and 388 thousandths is, and I see less than, greater than, or equal to. So basically we're comparing these two numbers with decimals. So if I'm doing that, let me take a look up here. We've got six in the ones place, six in the ones place. Those are the same. We've got a three in the tenths place and a three in the tenths place. S, S, those are the same. We have eight in the hundredths place and three in the hundredths place. Those are different, so I will put a D. And we're gonna stop right now. Thank you very much. Because this one is greater. Eight is greater than three. So we need to make sure we have something like that. Okay. So six and 388 thousandths, that's this guy right there when we match up the numbers, careful because they look really similar, huh? Is less than, greater than, or equal to six and 338 thousandths. It's not less than because our eight right here was greater. It is greater than, and it's not equal to. Nope. They have different digits in the hundredths place. So this is greater because why? Well, let's make sure we read these really carefully. Because the digits in the tenths place are different. Well, if I'm looking, the tenths place would be right here and right here. I put a T, a little T right there for tenths, and I see a three and a three, both threes in the tenths place. Are the digits in the tenths place even different? No. Let's try B, nice and slow. The digit eight in six and 388 thousandths is greater than the digit three. That's true. 
in the digit three in the hundreds place. Yes. Let's put a question mark there because I'm pretty sure that's exactly what we were saying. This eight in the hundreds place is greater than this three in the hundreds place. Both numbers end with an eight in the thousands place. While they do both end in eight in the thousands place, that is not why this one is greater. So we're going to eliminate that one and let's mark our final answer, y'all. B. So we should have gotten B and B. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, fifth grade. So I know we went through that pretty quickly. And if you're thinking, wow, I really need a review with reading numbers with decimals, like expanded form and comparing numbers, I've totally got your back with the McCarthy Math 155 series. There's a link below to my website with the videos. Now you do have to become a member in order to see the videos. But the cool thing is you can definitely check it out for seven days for free. And teachers, if you end up becoming a member, this is something that you can share with your students. I walk through how to do just that in the tutorials tab. What you want to do for the McCarthy Math 155 series, once you get your free trial or you become a member, I want you to check out Unit 4 because there are tons of videos there for you to watch, okay? After watching those videos, you should be a master at those skills because we really take the time to break it down in a fun, high-energy, jam-packed lesson. So please join me at McCarthy Math 155. Now, a few years ago, I created another series called How to Pass the Math FSA, back when the Math FSA was a computerized test. It's a paper-based test now, which is why I created this series, the Math FSA boot camp series. But guess what? While those how to pass the math FSA videos might reflect the computerized test, they still have excellent questions for you to practice, okay? So I really encourage you to check those out too. Check out the link below. To stay in the know with everything going on in McCarthy Math Academy, make sure that you're following me on Instagram or Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. You could also take this opportunity to subscribe on YouTube so that way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. In fact, if you like this lesson, if you want me to keep on creating more videos, please do me a favor and smash that like button so I know to keep on making some videos for you guys. It really does help me out and it really does get more attention to this site so I can help more students just like you. So thank you for tapping that like button. And finally, before you go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness. And you always have that choice. And I will see you all on the next episode. Can't wait. Bye.